Hi everyone, Mark Lichtenfeld, Chief Income Strategist with the Oxford Club. Welcome to State of the Market. Today, I'm giving you my top income stock for 2021, absolutely free. So no gimmicks, no credit cards, absolutely free. And what's so fantastic about this stock is it yields 8.3% and the dividend is tax deferred. You heard that right. You will likely not have to pay any taxes on the dividend in the year that it is received. So I'll get to that in a moment. First, let me reveal the company to you. Are you ready? Get your pen and paper ready. Here we go. It is Enterprise Products Partners, ticker symbol EPD. Now, EPD provides services to the oil and gas industry. Its bread and butter is 50,000 miles of pipeline that transports oil and gas throughout the country. Other than maintaining the pipelines, EPD really doesn't have to do a lot of work. It's kind of like being a toll booth operator on a highway. Now, it does also have storage capacity for about 260 million barrels of oil and natural gas liquids. Now, you may be thinking, hold on a second. Joe Biden was just elected president, and we just elected a Democrat Congress, so the country's probably going to be running on flour power and granola in the foreseeable future. Not so fast. Even if Biden's promise to increase our reliance on sustainable energy comes true, oil and gas is a big, big business, and you don't simply replace the energy infrastructure overnight. It is going to take decades for that to happen. Furthermore, I expect oil prices to rise in 2021. Saudi Arabia has just promised to cut a million barrels per day in production. And as we emerge from the pandemic, I expect a large boost to the economy that's going to spark demand for more energy. Now, let's look at the dividend. As I mentioned, Enterprise Products Partners yield is more than 8%, which is outstanding in this low interest rate environment. In the first three quarters of 2020, and EPD hasn't reported the fourth quarter as the time of this recording, so the first three quarters, it generated $4.8 billion in distributable cash flow, which was just about flat with last year. Now, think about that. That is remarkable, considering the economy ground to a halt in the first and second quarters, and even in the third quarter of 2020. And it just shows you how stable this company's business is. It paid out $2.9 billion in dividends, which is actually called a distribution in this case, and I'll get to that in a minute. But it shows you that the payout is very sustainable as the company has generated $1.65 per share in cash flow for every dollar that it paid out in distributions. It raised its distribution for 22 years in a row. That started back during the Bill Clinton administration. That was a long time ago. And think about all the things that have transpired since then. We've had the dot-com boom and bust, 9-11, the great financial collapse in 2008, COVID-19 pandemic, and through it all, Enterprise Products Partners not only paid a distribution, it raised it through all those different calamities. Going forward, distributable cash flow is forecast to be more than $6 billion in 2021, so EPD should have no problem sustaining and raising that payout to investors every year. So as I mentioned, EPD pays out distributions instead of dividends, and this is because EPD is a Master Limited Partnership, or MLP. And as a result, the distribution is considered a return of capital, not a dividend. Now, this is not just semantics. There is an important difference. When you receive a distribution that is a return of capital, you're not taxed on the income in the year it is received. Instead, it lowers the cost basis. Now, here's what I mean. Let's say you buy a stock for $20 and it pays a $1 per share distribution. That's all return of capital. You do not pay tax on that $1 per share that you receive in the year that you received it, but rather it lowers your cost basis by a dollar. So your new cost basis is $19, not 20. Now let's say you hold the stock for four more years. So you've collected $5 per share in distributions that you have not paid any tax on, but your cost basis is now $15. So if you sell the stock at $30, you'll pay tax on $15 worth of capital gains. Because remember, you bought the stock at 20, but the $5 in distributions that you received lowered your cost basis down to 15. So Uncle Sam, he's gonna get his money, believe you me. Uh -huh. But in this case, it will be when you sell the stock, not while you're collecting those distributions. 
So until your cost basis falls to zero, which takes many, many years, as long as you hold the stock, you'll collect that dividend income or distribution income tax deferred for a long, long time. Now, MLPs can be a little bit more complicated from a tax preparation standpoint, so you definitely want to talk to your accountant about it uh, to help you understand the pros and cons of MLPs. He may charge you a little bit more, but for most investors, the pros far outweigh the cons. Now, in 2021, I expect EPD to do very well from a price appreciation standpoint. Plus, like I said, you get that 8% distribution yield tax deferred for years to come. It is hands down my favorite income play for 2021. For more income and wealth building ideas, please check out my free e-letter, Wealthy Retirement. Just click on the link below, just like this stock pick. It is absolutely free. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.